Hey there guys, welcome to another episode of Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays Collection. I'm your host Mike, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, today guys, I wanted to tell you tell you about a couple of movies, two or three movies. Um, I've, I've been, what I've been doing here lately, um, I've been getting movies off the shelf. Uh, movies I may have shown before, I may have not, and re-watching them. So I wanted to show like a... Uh, this is kind of not officially that episode, but I want to, I want to do an episode where it says movies, rewatchable movies that I love, you know, movies that you tend to go to a lot and watch because you love the movie or you love that particular edition or something. Uh, th this is going to fall more into uh, pre-code, uh, some pre-code movies. Um, Warner Brothers starting about 2007 ish. Uh, came out with a whole series. I think there's 10 volumes of uh, Forbidden Hollywood. And they would put a lot of the uh, Warner Brothers, uh, MGM, and there might be some RKO mixed in there. But they were um, um, famous pre-code movies, you know, before 1934. So they're all a little racy. They talk about prostitution or drugs or murder or adultery and you know stuff that was frowned upon after like 34 so anyways i uh i got into this one this is uh, actually forbidden hollywood collection number one and uh, this one has a lot of tasty ones on here so the movies i checked out was baby face with uh barbara stanwick great pre-code one of the best pre-codes uh it's also got redheaded woman with gene harlow and uh, a movie called Waterloo Bridge from 1931, directed by James Whale. Uh, so later on that year, or maybe he made this after Frankenstein. Uh, but uh, it's, it's the first version of Waterloo Bridge. I think it was remade in 1940 with um, Vivian, Vivian Leigh from Gone with the Wind. She was in it. But yeah, it's pretty good. It's got a lot of atmosphere that you get from James Well and stuff. So it's really, really interesting. So really wanted to watch these, especially Babyface um, in particular is what I got it off. But I ended up watching the other ones too. So that this is highly recommended. And uh, I for, almost forget sometimes that I have a Laserdisc box set of some Forbidden Hollywood films. Now this, I don't know if they had any other volumes of this. Uh, back in the day uh, but this is one i got it's called the forbidden hollywood collection and uh, it doesn't say w one or two or anything like that but this one's got uh blessed event uh skyscraper souls which is a very good movie uh three on a match another really good movie uh employees entrance another really good movie uh, female and then ladies they talk about i think ladies they talk about has barbara stanwick in it too they're all really good and um uh, couple of these star the great warren william a uh, great unsung actor but he he hit he he was his, at his biggest in the 30s and he just kind of sim quietly retired and stuff and now he's you know but yeah i, I kind of checked out some stuff on that uh, a lot of these appeared on the dvd volumes later on um i'm not sure about a ble about blessed event if that ever made it on the volumes i would have to check and see but otherwise that's a good a good reason to hang on to this and finally guys i've watched uh forbidden hollywood the dvd set volume two and this is another great one uh this one has the divorcee a free soul which are both um uh what's her name norma Shearer made i think one of them she won an oscar uh, three on a match, female, and night nurse. Now, night nurse is what got me to get this off the shelf and watch, which is really good. All this stuff going on at a hospital during the graveyard shift. It's got an early role with Clark Gable in it, uh, Barbara Stanwyck. Uh, I think it's got and Joan, the great John, Joan Blondell is in it and stuff. And three on a match is another great one. It's got Joan Blondell uh, and stuff in it too. So. Um, so yeah, I got that. So and this and this one has female, which it's on that laser disc that I just showed you. So yeah, I got that off and just off the shelf and you know just watched it and stuff, which is usually not what I do. I usually tend to try to watch the movies I haven't seen yet and check those out and then make a video. 
but still, these movies are so good. I have to recommend them to you and everything as if I just bought it. But yeah, there's, there's, I, I did do a Forbidden Hollywood episode that features all 10 uh, volumes. Now, it, it was one of my first videos, probably within the number 10, somewhere in there, like between 1 and 10, somewhere in there was one of my first videos I made. So you, maybe you might want to go way back and, and, and check that out. Um, and stuff like that. That way you can get kind of a picture a picture of them all. Plus you can see young Mike when he was a lot younger and skinnier and just joking guys. But anyways, check it out. Um, check out pre-code period, man. I mean, there's all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, they, they just, they have that edge to it that still makes it so interesting nowadays after, you know, almost a hundred years. I mean, can you believe that? I mean, some of these movies... Here in about six years, some of these pre-code movies are going to be a hundred years old. I mean, that's it's just so wild, and they're so entertaining still. So, there you go, guys. Forbidden Hollywood. Check those out. Get those sets. Actually, they're really good. If you haven't you haven't got them, get them before they go completely out of print or they go up in price and stuff like that. Uh, Amazon's a good place to start. I think they have all of them. Uh, so there you go guys so thanks for watching please comment let me know what you think about uh, forbidden hollywood pre-code uh night nurse uh three on a match stuff like that uh comment uh give me a like if you enjoyed this uh don't forget to subscribe and uh don't forget to check that out that really old episode out that i featured i, I think you'll enjoy it so anyways guys, until next time, I'm Mike. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.